to this episode of Mommy Sea Star. Today we're going to go bird watching. It's a sunny day, but it's a little windy, so let's see what we're going to find out here. This is a black phoebe. The black phoebe is a type of flycatcher. It's attracted by water because it builds its nest out of mud. These are European starlings. European starlings were introduced to North America by people coming from Europe and bringing them as pets. Now they've taken over many areas. They're beautiful birds with a tuneful song and a lovely star-like pattern on black feathers. You've probably seen this kind of bird before. These are rock doves or pigeons. Rock doves are originally from Eurasia and are very common because they feed on such a wide variety of food. If they're taken to a new place, pigeons will return to their home. That's why homing pigeons have been employed to deliver mail. Can you see this very small finch? It's probably the smallest true finch in the world. It's a lesser goldfinch. Oh yeah, I found that one. Which one is that? What color is it? What color is that? What color is that? I don't know. This stately sleek bird is a raven from the genus Corvus. This genus includes jays and crows. They are known to be very clever birds and can solve problems. You may have seen them dropping nuts into the street so that cars can crack them open. Ravens are revered in mythology and literature. Here is the American crow. It's smaller than a raven. You can tell the difference most easily by their tails. Crows have flat tails and ravens have diamond shaped tails. It's pulling off sticks for its nest. Yep. When it's not breeding season, crows often form large flocks. Ravens, on the other hand, usually travel in pairs. Several different types of parrot species have escaped and become established in the Los Angeles area. Here you can see a flock of Amazon parrots feasting on dates in a palm tree. Here's a welcome visitor to many of our bird feeders. This is a house finch. In the 1920s and 30s, these little birds were sold all over North America as Hollywood finches. Some of these escaped in other areas of the country and became established. Is that a real fairy? Oh, it's one of the 14 species of hummingbirds found in California. These little helicopter-like birds are the smallest birds in the world. You can attract them to your home by planting flowers such as lantana and pentis, or putting up feeders with their favorite red-colored nectar. Listen carefully and the high-pitched sound may lead you to this little bird, the ruby-crowned kinglet, searching for insects among the leaves and branches of the garden. 